Hi folks, um, so this is a quick story about a couple I met in a bar recently. Um, whenever people ask me what I do for a living, the, uh, the kind of quickest sound bite I can give them is I say, I play bars on Saturdays and I play churches on Sundays. And um, there's more to it than that, but that's, the, that's kind of the easiest and quickest way to explain. And uh, recently I got booked to play in a, a bar uh, that was non-local to me. It was a kind of a, in a, a town a few miles away. Uh, they'd heard I was good. Um, they booked me for a few dates across the summer and into the autumn. And uh, I went down, played, played my set. And in the middle of my set, in between one of the songs, um, uh, I... Uh, Sorry, just then I just loaded somebody walking past there. Uh, in the middle of one of my songs, or it's at the end, in between one of my songs, um, the uh, a lady comes up to me and says, "Listen, can you play that Bob Marley song, uh, Three Little Birds?" That's the song that has the chorus line that goes, "Don't worry about a thing, 'cause every little thing is gonna be all right." So that's the song. I uh, so I explained to her. Listen, I, I kind of know the song, but I've never played it. I don't really. I couldn't. I couldn't perform it, you know. But uh, undeterred, she uh, she went ahead and, and kind of sang it to me, uh, thinking that I, I can learn it in that moment and play it for. Her. And I normally in those moments try and avoid um, trying to politely avoid doing those types of requests. Uh, but she went on to explain that that uh, the song was significant for her because. Her son, 18 months previously, had been in a, a car accident and uh, despite, against all the odds, he'd survived. And during his recovery, which is still ongoing, uh, every night uh, her and her husband would sing this song to him uh, as he was going to sleep. And it was kind of like a moment of, uh, moment of peace, kind of like, one of, just like a little ritual for them and, 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 and her way of, I guess, of, of kind of injecting some hope into it. Uh, these is folks as far as I'm aware not not believers not followers of Jesus uh, I don't think they're people of faith but uh, so anyway long story short I I managed to weave the the chorus of that song into a section of the of the next song that I was doing and she was delighted uh, that I'd, I'd done that and uh, it seemed like significant for her and all the rest so anyway at the end of the night I pack up go home um, uh, and they, they they were still in the bar. Her and her husband were still in the bar. So the next day, the very next day, uh, on the Sunday afternoon, I'm doing uh, my kind of regular slot in this bar behind me here. It's, it's the legendary Harbour Bar in Portrush. Hangout of hangout of celebrities and sports icons and uh, all the rest. It's 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 a it's a classic little bar from the early 1900s still going today and then I, on a Sunday afternoon here I do a kind of like a chill out relaxed kind of a set and uh, anyway the, the next day after that that particular gig um, halfway through my set here don't these don't this doesn't this lady and her husband come into the bar and uh, we both look at each other and kind of say goodness what are the chances <laughs> we we met last night so anyway I ask um, How's your son doing? And we got we got chatting, and, and I said to her, "Listen, uh, this might sound a bit weird, but would you mind if I prayed for Jordan?" And she was a little bit surprised, but said, "Yeah, no, I'd be I'd be very kind." So right there, and then I uh, I prayed prayed for both, prayed for their family, prayed for Jordan um, for his recovery, and um, uh, and then I I was packing up, and uh, they said to me, "Listen, are you going to? Are you've got another gig you're going to?" I said, no, uh, actually, uh, I'm going to take uh, lead a church service. And uh, she was really surprised. That, but she was so surprised, she came out with something that I can't really repeat because it would require a uh, an explicit language war warning. Such was, uh, it was just like an unfiltered expression of surprise. But anyway, uh, on my way out, she said, listen, uh, would you t ask those people in that church to pray for my son? And I said, of course it would, and uh, and we did that. It was it was a it was a gathering. I was leading worship at. It was actually, just, in fact, interestingly, it was a, it was kind of like a prayer gathering. I was doing some teaching on stuff, and leading leading those folks in, through a model of the Lord's Prayer that that I use. And um, so we we fervently prayed for her son. But all that to say, it was one of those moments where just being doing what you do, 
and for you it could be very different from me I'm obviously a musician and I, I view my work in the world as changing my, my job is to kind of change the atmosphere in my local community through music whether that's leading worship or whether that's playing in bars both of those things are equally valid for, for whatever you do in your local community um, it's, it's maybe different than that but there's always I'm convinced always these moments of intersection between heaven and earth so this is an unfolding story uh, if I ever bump into that couple again which is, is possible um, I'll keep you posted on the on the uh, on the outcome but anyway that's the uh, that's the story um, I hope you guys are well uh, I guess the, the the moral of that story is just for us to keep our eyes and ears open and aware of what uh, God is doing around us and through us anyway bless you guys speak soon I've got a, I've got a I'm heading off to do my Sunday afternoon gig here Bless you guys. Speak soon. Bye.